Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley, I'm a homeschooling mom with eight kiddos. Our oldest is a freshman and our youngest is, uh, will almost be three months. So I wanted to, I just did a video on um, an online curriculum, a math curriculum that we are using. I will link that here. Um, this is another aspect of my high schoolers homeschool this year that we have changed. It is uh, doing science and um, Spanish online. So BJU Press we are using for Spanish and for physical science. I have been very pleased so far with this curriculum. I think that it is a such a just solid curriculum for these two subjects at least we have um, used BJU in the prep in the past for um, different subjects I have tried it with language arts um, for my older kids when they were younger and I wasn't a huge fan um, but the online curriculum um, has been working really well for my high schooler now this is something because um, I wanted to do a quick review for you guys on how we've liked it this is something that I am not familiar with the elementary or middle school level online. The reason for that is that I do not do online that early. I do online high school and that's pretty much it. Um, I might do it with my second kiddo that will be going into seventh grade. I'm not going to do it yet. I might do it eighth grade. Um, she is in sixth grade now. I don't think she's ready for an online class in seventh grade, but eighth grade, I might be kind of starting to ease into that because these subjects that I think get harder, obviously, as you get older and older grades, um, it is imperative that you, that they learn this, these subjects, no matter how they're taught. No matter if it's you doing that, no matter if it's online, no matter if it's them kind of just doing it on their own. Um, I knew with Spanish, because I did not take Spanish, my husband did not take Spanish, that, that was going to have to be an online course because I needed him to listen to things. Yes, they have some that don't have an audio, but how are you going to do that? Um, or, you know, teaching it yourself. And I don't know if it's right or wrong because I don't speak Spanish. So... I knew that Spanish was going to be an online curriculum. When we, when I was looking at Spanish curriculums, this was the one that really stuck out to me. And um, same with BJU Press with their science. I think their sciences, now I do not have the science, I did not buy the science kits for BJU Press, but um, we have done okay with it without the, these, the kits. Now biology, I will get the kits that has obviously the dissection and things like that, and I want to get those kits. But going into BJU Press online courses, um, I knew because I joined a Facebook group that is strictly for the online courses. Um, I knew that it was going to be a challenge. I knew that it was going to be a learning curve. I knew that it was going to be a lot more work than what he was used to. Um, but he has really thrived with it. Um, he enjoys both of those subjects. I think probably Spanish is one of his favorites. Um, how they are both kind of laid out is very similar. They have the lecture at the beginning, which can sometimes range anywhere. Science, can, the science one is kind of really intense. Um, it can range anywhere from like 30, 20, 30, 40 minutes of a lecture. Um, the it will have labs, um, lab activities, but there is also a way online for you to skip those. Now, if your if your state does not require certain labs, um, it's kind of up to you. It is totally up to you. I we skip those. He will watch them, but he will skip the actual work um, because. We don't have all of the supplies, but we don't need all the supplies. And I feel like I'm going to spend more money on biology than I am physical science. That's just how I feel it, um, how I view it. So um, we, he kind of just goes in order. And how it's set up online for both subjects, you log on to a homeschool hub, which is basically your like dashboard. And it shows your, your 
courses. So like we have physical science on one side and we have Spanish on the other. And you can click and see, you know, go to each one and see which one, um, you know, grades, assignments. Um, they call it late work, but I think they just do that for the sake of knowing that, hey, you need to get this done. Um, as a parent, there's the option for you to skip the lesson. And then when they's done with that, with the activities, he just clicks on the little box and it puts a check mark or a strike through. And then that shows that he's done with it. For the parent, um, there is the answer key. So it does not um, check it for you. I think there is a way that you can do the quizzes online, but I have not figured out how to do that because for some reason it's not working on my homeschool hub which is fine because I will just print out the quizzes and I'll have him hand do it and then I'll look at the answer key and then check it from there. I'm okay doing that because it was really more headache to try and figure out why it wasn't working that way to do it online. So I just said, whatever. And then you can log in how many points he got right, or they got right on the quiz or on the um, answer questions. After each chapter, there's some answer questions that you know, that tells you exactly what to do. So I love that it is laid out day by day. And if there's something that you missed, you would go back. Um, you can go back whenever and finish it. And it'll show what assignments are missing or what um, questions are missing or what graded activities or quizzes are missing. And then you can check them off from there. Um, with both of Spanish and science, it comes with um, like an activities manual and it comes with the uh, science comes with a lab manual, student text, all of the things. And so it will be very specific in telling you what to do each day. And so it'll tell you your grade. As soon as you log on to the homeschool hub, it'll tell you right next to your subject what the grade is. There is a lot that you can print out online or a lot that is online. Um, I prefer physical copies. So he has the copies of everything. Um, and then he just references things back, you know, online. I am not huge when there are questions um, at the end of chapters. I am not huge on making them memorize those. I let him look in the book um, and, and answer questions that way because at the end of the day, it is how he is learning. It is him learning. It is not him, um, you know, getting it wrong and, you know, trying to memorize it, but getting it wrong. And if he's reading it two and three times, going back and finding the answer in the book, it's registering up here. So I am not big on that. Now with the tests, um, he will do it, uh, obviously a closed book and I will grade it and then submit the grade. And so it keeps track of everything. Now I have not gotten to the point, obviously at the end of the year where I need to print all the grades and do all that. I will cross that bridge when I get there. But for now, the grading is very simple. It says it gives you the total, um, you know, of each quiz or each assignment. It gives you the total that it should be like, hey, this one is worth 15 points. Okay, well, we missed two. So 13, I would type out of 15, he got right. Um, so it's very straightforward. The um, lectures, like I said, are kind of long. Um, and some of them use the honor system. So, you know, it'll tell you um, to for Spanish, um, you know, in the activities manual or the student book, it'll tell them to, you know, do this conversation. Did you do it? Yes. Okay. You mark it true and then move on. So a lot of times that will have him, you know, I would listen to him do things. Um, he's still a little bit, you know, um, still a little bit intimidating to talk in front of people with another language because you think you sound funny. And so I won't, you know, a lot of times he'll, you know, kind of do it on his own. And then again, if he needs me, I obviously have to look at the answer key because I don't know what's right and wrong. Um, but it is, it seems to be the BJU Press Online seems to be very user friendly once you get used to it and once you figure out how to use it, it is uh, very user friendly. So I just want to encourage you as high school parents, if you are there yet, um, it is a, they are very, college-like courses, just like I mentioned in my last video, the math class that he is taking in the math course is very college-like. And so that is my goal. That is my, um, that is what I'm striving for is to have him get used to those kind of um, hard and challenging courses because that's what he will have to do if he chooses college. So, um, you know, sugarcoating it and, and being, you know, just super easy on them as they are doing these courses in high school is not going to help them. Um, yes, you want them to understand it. So you want to sit with them. If they don't understand something, go over it. Great. 
but they need to also be able to navigate these things on their own because let's face it in college now a lot of most of this stuff is online so um you know whether it's submitting papers whether it's you know turning in projects whatever it is a lot of this stuff is online now and so i want him to be to be prepared with that kind of format and um you know be aware of how to sit and listen to a lecture and hey when they teach you this and they show you this you need to listen and pay attention um i'm not sure if the um how many lessons or units there are in between each test but it again it will tell you um you know read this from these pages from this manual from this you know student manual do these questions from this page do you know 9 through 11 it, you, they tell you everything so you have no question on what you are supposed to be doing same with spanish so i anticipate everything is about the same again i i do not feel like i want to do that for my elementary or middle schooler maybe my eighth grader um but elementary school and beginning part of middle school i am not going to try and do this online stuff because i think it i think it's just a lot and there are a lot of people on the facebook page that um that do you know the bju facebook page and they do this for their elementary school kids and that's totally fine it just seems like a lot of work <laughs> a lot of work so i opted to not do that um unless that is a way that your child learns best is by watching somebody else you know teach and again that's how it is and that teaches them how to um, listen to the lecture and hey what is taught in front of you is what you're going to be quizzed on is what your questions are going to be about you're going to have to know this material um, so let me know if you have any questions about the BJU press online system or online um, courses like I said it's we only do physical science and Spanish so those are the only two that we've done so far online so that's all that really I have answers for, but I think based on my perspective and based on what I know so far, it's very similar. I think all the courses are pretty similar. It's just a matter of navigating your way through the hub and, and knowing where everything is and, and knowing when to print things and you know so forth and when to grade things and all that. So let me know if you have any questions down below, guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.